plants, as many multicellular living things, are also arranged in a similar way to animals, with cells that form tissues, which join together to form organs, and then organ systems, and finally, whole organisms. We're going to look at one particular organ, the leaf. The leaf is made of a few different types of tissue. The outer layer of a plant is made of the epidermal tissue, which surrounds and protects the leaf. Some plants secrete a waxy substance that makes up the cuticle to reduce water loss from the leaf surface. Under this you'll find the palisade mesophyll. You can see here that the cells that make up this area are packed full of chloroplasts, which carry out photosynthesis. The next layer of tissue down is called the spongy mesophyll. This layer contains lots of air spaces and has a large surface area to increase the exchange of gases. The leaf is then sandwiched back with another layer of epidermal tissue. As well as these tissues, you can also see small gaps at the bottom of the leaf. These are stomata and guard cells around the edge allow them to open and close, allowing the plant to regulate the gas and water movement in and out of the leaf. Other tissues you need to know about are the xylem and phloem, which are important in transporting materials around the plant. The xylem transports water and any dissolved minerals, and the phloem carries dissolved food. The final plant tissue you need to know about is called the meristem. This is made up of rapidly dividing plant cells, and it's where the plant can grow and cells can differentiate to form all the other types of cells that are required.